Weapons testing over the Potomac River in Dahlgren, Virginia, is not a new sight or sound for people who live close by and for the watchful eyes of the Potomac Riverkeeper Network. The environmental nonprofit, along with the Natural Resources Defense Council, are now suing the Navy for activity at the Naval Surface Warfare Center. As a riverkeeper, I hope that there's limits that are imposed on some of the more dangerous and toxic chemicals that are being released into the river. This is the largest open water test range, weapons test range in the entire country, 51 miles. Under the Clean Water Act, we have these provisions that allow citizens and groups like ours to demand that the Navy uh, get a Clean Water Act permit. The lawsuit was filed in federal court in Maryland. Riverkeeper Dean Nalyuk says the Navy met with the organization once they filed a notice to sue. He says the Navy asked for a 60-day extension, but they came back and said they're not moving forward to request a Clean Water Act permit. After Bay Bulletin submitted several questions, a Navy spokesperson said, quote, the Department of the Navy does not comment on ongoing litigation. Inquiries regarding litigation should be referred to the Department of Justice. The Navy also recently announced that it was planning to expand the Potomac River test range. What do you think will change once they get a permit, if they are ordered to get a permit? At the very least, they're going to have a permit um, if we're successful. That would require limits um, and, um, you know, just kind of establish some type of requirements that are protective of, you know, clean water um, and also the endangered sturgeon and other, uh, you know, andromedous fish that are spawning in the Potomac River. Now, Yook says the Navy should also be required to do water and sediment testing in the area so the impact is clear. He says watermen have found rockets in the river. Those were captured by watermen who pulled those up from the river, right, uh, just last year. Now, Yokes insists Potomac Riverkeeper Network is not attempting to shut down weapons testing. The group mainly wants the Navy to apply for a permit under the Clean Water Act, which was established in 1972. Under it, the Environmental Protection Agency tries to control water pollution. At the end of the day, I think we're demanding that the courts uh, tell the Navy they need to get a Clean Water Act permit and establish limits uh, for their discharge of munitions to the Potomac River. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.